Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Andre, otherwise known as Homesick, and I'm the producer behind all of the beats on this channel. I make beats pretty consistently almost every day. I put a lot of time working to them, and also I get a lot of questions from my viewers saying, you know, how do you make such lit beats? You know, how do you make such fire every day, every time I post? So I decided to kind of give you guys a step-by-step walkthrough on how I make my instrumentals. Obviously I'm going to condense it down so it's not as long as I'm actually going to spend on it. But I'm going to give you guys some of the main points. Um, if there's anything you guys need any more, you know, clarification on, any more detail, you know, hit me up in the comments and I can, I'll definitely give you guys some more videos like this. So without further ado, uh, let's get straight into this. So just for an average beat, I would usually start off by choosing my tempo. I like a faster tempo. Um, you know, 140 is commonly used, so I'm able to start with that. So this is what it sounds like. And after choosing my tempo, uh, I usually would like to pull up the only the only VST I use is Omnisphere, Omnisphere 2. So honestly, when I open up a new project, I just pull up, uh, you know, two, two, three Omnispheres just to start it off with, because I know I'm going to be using at least that many. And I pretty much always start with, um, you know, a bass, like a bass line pad, not, a, not an actual bass, but uh, uh, just something for the background to set the mood, set the tone, figure out what key you're playing in, things like that. So with Omnisphere, I mean, it comes with a bunch of great presets. Uh, I usually like to, you know, choose something and then kind of mess around from there. I like that, but I feel like I'm gonna go with uh, more of an upbeat, happier song for this one. Okay, so I like that. I'm gonna just record it then. Throw it into the playlist role, where that's where you organize the songs on Fruity Loops. Um, then I usually just quick do a quick quantize, so it's a tool, quick quantize start, and then quick quantize both of them, line them up properly. After I've chosen a preset and I like how it's starting to sound, I'll go back into the preset and change some things, make it a little more unique, maybe layer some more instruments on top of it, um, and just make it more different than just choosing a, a preset. So usually I like some delay, some reverb, some uh, pan effects, things like that. Once I'm done with the pad, uh, usually I'll go on to some sort of uh, melody. So that's what I'll probably do next. Um, I'll just pull up the next Omnisphere and um, just kind of go off of what the first line sounds like and I'll think of what I would like to add to that. I hear some sort of uh, reverse piano or something, kind of making uh, the, some accents or some, some sort of melody. I think 
it's ready to add some drums. I had a little bit of a pattern in mind, so I'm gonna see how that works with it. Now, a big part of when you're choosing your drums, the reason I, I do it in this order is because I like to have a, a, like a general vibe going on, and when I choose my drums, it I'm choosing specific sounds that will fit and complement the style I'm doing. Just so, like, if you're choosing everything at the same time, all the start or something, it might might be uh, too different. I feel like this gives me a good idea of getting a, a general sound going across all of my different instruments and samples I choose. And obviously I do have uh, my own kit, HomeSit kit. Link in bio. Right now you can get 50% off with my code down below. I'm going to be using probably a few of them in this. I, I use them in pretty much every beat I make. of all your hits. Just adds a little bit of extra spice that you need sometimes. Also, I always layer my kicks, my snares, everything. Everything's layered, always. Um, just makes it more dynamic, more unique. <laughs> the drum line set up so now I think the beat is pretty banging uh, we have all the necessary parts so far um, we just gotta structure the song mix it master it do all that jazz um, maybe add a few more notes here and there just to spice it up but other than that you got the basics down already um, from there uh, so I, when in my hi-hats you can see I like a layer hi-hats do a lot of mix up between triplets and just the regular 4 over 4 um, do a lot of different sounds, do a lot of different experiments. Try it, like try until you get it, right? Like this didn't, I was probably gonna be like a 10 minute video, but this is, I just took me, I mean, it's already been an hour, so, you know, I, it's, uh, I'm, I like to choose, I'm very specific, and you should be too. Um, also, what I haven't done yet, is I like to go into the instruments itself, trim them down, trim down the samples, just give a, to just tighten up. Things like the hi-hats, I like to tighten it up. I always like to um, cut, cut itself so when they hit right next to each other, it sounds very, uh, it's more crisp. I do that with all the hi hats. I should just add a little bit, oh, not the crossfade. Let's just add a little bit more preciseness. <laughs> One thing I like to add, if it's sounding a bit uh, like it's not full enough, I like to add just a little bit of noise in the background, uh, either some like environmental noise or just even white noise, anything like that is fine. Um, and again, I, I open up just another atmosphere to do that. I always like to group my stuff together, right? So, um, all the instruments together, all the drums together, uh, the bass besides the kicks. Um, all that kind of stuff. It just helps me keep myself more organized. Um, and that reminds me, I don't have a bass yet, so. Uh, this one I was thinking, I, I do have a nice preset that I made. Um, I like to use that a lot, actually. So I think it'll work well with this. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. it um, I always make my bass and my kicks mono that's just, some, that's just something I do right off the start um, let's just do that right here it definitely helps control the bass centers it down that middle area so it's not just kind of floating everywhere with all the different sounds and all the highs that the bass has it's, it's mono so it's focused right down the middle right Now I'm going to go 
back and do the noise. I got sidetracked with the bass, but the bass is definitely more important than the noise. Um, the noise is just such a last kind of thing that you do, right? Just to improve, see if you can improve any of the sounds, if it sounds better with it or not. You just try it out, right? Like, I like that. that. That thing, it could could be nice in the back. Let's see. everything myself um, I would just pretty much mute everything start with the monos move throughout the stereo space um, sometimes I make the song mono I don't really know if it if how much it's really helped me but that's you know I've, I read that somewhere so I tried it out a few times so I do it sometimes but um, I don't know I don't think I'm gonna do it this time A standard um, type of, of mix that I usually do would be, you know, throw a couple uh, EQs on there and a compressor, and then from there um, I'll kind of see how it's how it's sounding and what needs to be added. Uh, a lot of times with my basses and my kicks, I'll add uh, also some distortion, and so that way it adds a little more texture, a little more flavor to it. It usually boosts my kicks at around 80 hertz. Take the one down. As well as 180, I boost that up. I do have the Waves Gold Pack of, of their plugins. So I use a lot of Waves plugins as well as standard uh, out of the box ones with FL. I find the Waves just have a really nice sound to them. I like how that sounds. I might even add um, a little extra bass down there. But I don't like the volume getting out of hand. i add a limiter. And actually, I have another Waves plugin I like. It's called uh, GTR amp mono. I throw that on my bass all the time. Helps with the, the, the higher ends of it. I like uh, tube DI in hand, something like that. In those EQs, if you haven't noticed already, um, all I do is I throw on this uh, cutoff on the top and the bottom. Uh, the bottom is more important than the top. You always have to do it on the top, but uh, you cut off the bottom and usually roll them off like uh, just roll off the lows wherever you stop hearing a difference and you stop hearing anything um, just because there might be a little bit of excess noise but just take it away because you're not really a, you don't need it for that instrument right so that's why I, th I do that with pretty much every instrument um, like the pads here I could even go a little higher but I don't really want to mess with the, the mid lows of the pad because that's where I like to put it so I think that's going to be good for that for me um, and I think it sounds pretty good I'm just gonna finish structuring it out into a song now uh, I have a pretty standard procedure on that as well uh, and I just do slight variations right so uh, usually I have, to have a bit of an intro and then I you know I'll do like a verse verse chorus verse chorus something like that or just chorus verse chorus verse chorus outro um, for this one, I was kind of thinking, let's see. Probably 
just like a intro to a chorus, a verse, and then just a chorus, and then end it. It won't be that long. I'm gonna make it pretty short. Started off, I always, you know, I always keep the pad in there. That's the only thing. Probably no drums. Or no, no bass or anything like that. change up the beginning drums give it more of a drop than what it has right now and that's it I hope this walkthrough helped you guys kind of learn a few things about how to make a beat and how to make um, consistently good beats kind of gives you a nice step-by-step -step process on how to do it and if you just keep practicing like that changing things up here and there as you go along that um, you'll you know eventually you'll start making hit after hit so anyway I hope you guys really enjoyed it and if you want to see more of these if you want to see any more in-depth tutorials maybe about certain points certain things I did that you saw that you want to hear more of or figure out why I did that uh, leave it down in the comments below also, uh, this beat will be up for sale at the rest, uh, www.homesick with an X, H O M E S I X dot net. Link in bio. You can purchase these beats. Let me know if you guys want to see more of them. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, there will be new beats every day or almost every day, um, as well as hopefully some more, you know, tutorial like videos. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.